Welcome back to curbside car maintenance. So today what we're going to look at is the right hand drive shaft problem. Uh, we've got oil uh, on the pavement underneath the car so we're going to have a look at that. Um, recently the car went in for its MOT and we're supposed to have had a new CV boot put on the car. We're going to have a look at that as well. I, I would have thought that he would have informed me if there would have been an oil leak but clearly not. Anyway, we're going to have a look at that. And um, first of all, we're going to isolate the car from moving. So we'll put the handbrake on, put it into park. Not that park is going to essentially stop the car from moving because it is a front wheel drive and we're going to elevate the front of the car, but uh, we're going to put it in park anyway. We're then going to put some blocks behind the back wheels on the left wheel and then the right wheel put it on axle stands to secure it from moving any further and then we're going to have a look underneath so we're looking now at the CV boot the exterior CV boot for the right hand drive shaft and that seems okay there's nothing wrong with that there's no splits in it or anything so we're going to move to the inner CV boot where the problem is and once we look at that we can see the repair that has been done on the CV boot instead of replacing it he's um, put a load of silicon around it which is not very good considering that cost me quite a bit of money to have that CV boot replaced so I'll have to get back to him and of course I will do a video on that later looking at it further we can see that we have oil from the gearbox seal uh, that is splashed around the inside uh, the casing there we can see oil that is all around there so that needs to come out the CV boot needs to be replaced and also the inner drive shaft seal needs to be replaced so that's the diagnosis for the problems and from there on we're going to take that apart and do that thanks for watching see you soon bye bye